Welcome to Nkana Stadium for what could have known. Uh, two holy midfielders that Mankana will be utilizing. And a uh, uh, of uh, Emmanuel Mwinde, perhaps that is uh, being a win. Green Eagles, well, will there be uh, glory, uh, uh, you know, the runs um, in from the midfield? And it is all for you. I'm Franklin Temba Jr. And uh, Musanda Chibulu joins me from uh, Touchline Conversation. And, uh, oh, an afternoon that looks good for football. No rain at the moment. The surface looks promising, and we could have, uh, um, you know, a game on our hands as the first defensive work is uh, executed by Young Green Eagles. It's a relegation dogfight. Ghana Football Club sucked into it, and they'll be expected to get full points here to ease pressure. Already on new coach Kelvin Kaindu in his 60th game in charge. He's managed to pick six points out of a possible 15 which is not a return that will excite the unforgiving fans of Nkana Football Club. Like you rightly pointed out, they're not here, but if you look at the pylons, some of them have climbed onto those pylons to be able to see action here. Young Green Eagles are expected to be tough as always and are pushing Nkana to the limit. Well, they certainly have shown that in the games uh, uh, that they have played, and sometimes people might think and feel that, well, maybe they're just unlucky, uh, but they try to push in everything but it's a disappointment perhaps in the final third that they might have to uh, deal with follow us on super sport tv in other words we want you to be part of uh, the conversation this is uh, not just uh, uh, about us but a lot a lot more about you uh, we want your video thoughts under 30 seconds please and uh, uh, for you to have a chance to be um, expressed or shown with what you would have said so young green eagles with an early intention here Ashad Mwale brought down, but the referee will just say play on. No damage done on that occasion. And it's in Kana who will need to take the game uh, to the visitors. Um, well, a sign of a bit of uh, being slippery there. But as opposed to just not being steady in stance. Throw in to Young Green Eagles, or to Nkana rather. Already I'm concerned with that, but as opposed to just not being steady in stance. Throw in to Young Green Eagles, or to Nkana rather. Already I'm concerned about the sand onto the pitch, which is affecting the movement of the ball. So the players have to be very accurate in their passing as well as in their movement. But in Ghana Football Club, obviously, pushing the issue as is expected. It's uh, Chimwemwe with a uh, throw intended to reach that 18-yard uh, box. But uh, another chance. It's tame and uh, well-checked. And now the young eagle trying to fly away, but the minor clips it. It's going to be a free kick. They got away one with one earlier in Ghana Football Club. But not this time. Uh, Hamalila are judging Obed Masumbuko to have fouled the Young Green Eagles player, and rightly so. So, it's a search for an early goal on both sides. Floated into that area. Chance here. Oh, my goodness. This is where you head it towards the right target, Ashad Mali. It's heading it in the wrong direction altogether. That was a bit of a threat. Shocking miss in there. Took the ball off the goal. The direction of the header was very poor. The bearings, he got the angles, everything wrong. It was a very good chance created early on by Young Green Eagles, who are not looking phased by the occasion of playing at this fortress in Kana Stadium. Well, on that occasion, Ashad Mwale was uh, defending in the wrong place. He should have been bouncing that ball towards goal. And now, Masimboko, he whips in the cross, a chance here, yeah, and it's in! Quick taken, and Young Green Eagles get punished in the very early minutes, and um, they are exposed. And that is uh, so unfortunate, and uh, Mr. Kelvin Mwanga knows that uh, that's not the way to start uh, uh, proceedings here. And uh, surely could have done uh, much better, but um, it's a it's a question of uh, poor marking, and Nkana are uh, up ahead, and you just expect this to happen. 
because this is Simon Mulenga's goal and it comes early in this particular occasion. Well, it was a high, you know, ball that was too early. Well, not necessarily Masumbuko with a very good work, 10, put it into the area, but too early defended on a particular occasion and uh, Simon Mulenga just put it in the back of the net. Long ball, which should have been dealt with. Masumbuko with the 10 and then another 10, put it in the area again, the defending. And Mulenga says, thank you very much. So, young Green Eagles get punished even when you'd have thought they want to give Kana a lot more trouble here, but uh, they did not do that and get uh, the wrath of uh, coming to play at Inkana Stadium. And so, in the fourth minute, it's Inkana 1, Young Green Eagles nil. One hopes that they're not intimidated by this uh, fortress, which is empty today. Yeah, I mean... They didn't start like a side that is intimidated, but defensively they always concede. And that was a very poor goal. They were not very compact and the loose marking resulting in Mlenga finding space to just slot the ball home. So not necessarily intimidated, but I think that their defending has got to get better. Free kick, young green eagles. They already lag behind and uh, Simon Mlenga punishing them. Do you remember there was that Ashford Mwale chance earlier on? And that's the thing about football. When you have your chance, take it seriously or be a bit of a threat. But here comes another chance for Young Green Eagles. Trailing already against a side that Canada just believes if they're going to get three points, it must be off this match. Here's the goal scorer's pass, but it's not very good. And that ball will go out for a goal kick. Goal kick indeed. And what must be said is that this Inkana defense has got two newcomers in Glory Chimwemwe, who's just signed, as well as Kelvin Moyo. And they have lost Gift Zulu, who has moved to Napsa Stars. Uh, Haruna Shakava has also left. And so you expect that Green Eagles should be able to test Inkana defense in that these guys are playing for the first time you know, together as a back four. Easy picking there for Moses uh, Mapulanga. And now Young Green Eagles must quickly dig into their plan B to get that all important, or should be important, equalizer. But on the other hand, Fonkana, this should not be a comfort uh, place. One nil lead, always heartbreaking, many times anyway. You want to score again to be comfortable. Exactly. So, will that other goal come as uh, Kelvin Moyo decides what to do? Back uh, to Lyson Toll and Kelvin again. The young Green Eagles uh, taking their time in playing the high line. Handed out. This is going to be a throw in to be quickly taken by Masimbuko, from whom, uh, whose move that uh, goal was. Uh, produce slowly but steadily. Can again build pressure. And young e Green Eagles deal with it this time. Perhaps a chance for a little bit of a dart here. The goalkeeper, this could be it. And, well, showing a bit too much, Isaac Ngoma. And his uh, hit lost uh, that power. Lack of pace but probably the block very crucial, just taking the sting out of the shot. Coming again, this is Abuya. One touch uh, football. Good play by Nkana, Masimbuka shuffles around. Switching play to the far side. A couple of weeks ago, there was a lot that was made of the pitch at uh, President Stadium in terms of the sand. But we can clearly see that this sand on Inkana turf today is going to have an effect in terms of the way the boy is going to bounce, the way the boy is going to be weighted and so on. Oh, so that should be something for the players to take note of. Here's a 
what could have been anybody's ball in that uh, air. It's going to be played back to the goalkeeper. And uh, Samson Mula knows uh, that uh, Sanjase can't touch it. They start again. But that pass will not be complete as Nkana come again to try and add more woos uh, to the visitor's side. Uh, just needed a bit of early arrival by Obed. But still, pressure is on here. And uh, Masimbuko tries to sneak in one. He has been at the end of everything good that Nkana have done attacking wise and the tradition of Nkana has been to have fast wingers from the times of the Moses Simalas, the Godfrey Selepetes, the best on Chambeshis, the Numba Mwilas. They have played with a lot of wit and today Obed Masumbuko looks like the bright spark for them for this Kelvin Kai side. Well so far so good. Abuya. Nkana playing with a, a bit of a is uh, young green eagles a lot of breakdowns so far in the quest to push uh, forward play still in young window there claiming for a throw in doesn't happen 10 minutes uh, played the young side now pushing the bird has to fly, but it's uh, being stopped uh, at the moment. Ball should be floated into that 18, and that's the intention. But uh, shy of goal, shy of shooting at goal, Young Green Eagles. Abuya. Now this could be interestingly, and yes, it's another finish. beautiful goal, and it's goal number two by Simon Mulenga. He knows where the weak spot is, and uh, this uh, visiting side could well be in for a lot of punishment this afternoon. Scoring from the same side, uh, it's uh, a lot of work. Could this be a routing match this afternoon? So goal number two for Simon Mulenga. It's a breast for the big striker. Reminds me of Kenneth Babo Malitoli in his height. But the goalkeeper really, Grigory Sanjase. So midfield and uh, good play again off the wings in Kana. Good movement. First touch at the near post. The goalkeeper has to feel very disappointed with that particular you know, goal just at his near post. But first time finish clinical finishing by Mulenga for his breast. Well, he takes his chance. It's a very, very tight angle, but the goalkeeper doesn't uh, completely cover his uh, near post and gets uh, punished. And it is young Green Eagles that really look young now because in Kana leading by two goals to nil. Masimbuko with a bit of chance to express uh, himself. Too heavy a boot on this occasion. It's gonna be a throw in to the visiting side. First time I've seen him make a mistake in this match after the opening, you know, 13 minutes, Obed Masumbuko. But it must be said that Fred Shimenga did some great work off the other flank. So the wingers in the tradition of Unkana, they have had these special wingers. And today, I think Kelvin Kaindu trying to dig into that Unkana tradition of having these fast wingers who are able to bring the ball into the area and it's working effectively. But again, the defensive organization of this young Green Eagle side, they were appealing for an offside when Mulenga had peeled off the last man and just found, you know, you know, space between the goalkeeper and the near post to squeeze the ball in that, into the back of the that net. That always takes away your concentration, does it? It does. It when does. you're trying to get attention of the referee and there's, uh, you know, you're under pressure uh, in the final third. So I suppose that uh, could have contributed there because the goalkeeper could have thought, well, maybe there's going to be a bit of a favor from the ref and that was not to be. The odd Ashru. rule <laughs> in football right. is play to the whistle. Absolutely. And uh, how we forget that quickly is uh, what is a bit uh, of a baffling matter. So, what to do in these early stages for uh, Kevin Mwanga? 
well, he needs to shift, you know, some of his staff, particularly in front of the back four, they look very disorganized. They had the first uh, real chance. They could have been the ones ahead and forcing Kana into playing for a comeback. After conceding, I think that they are now panicking. They are in a hurry. Uh, they had the chance that failed to Ashford Mole and failed to convert. And since that time, they have looked very, very shaky indeed, this young Green Eagle side. So, a lot of work in that uh, regard. As uh, Kana now believe they can get a third and uh, that will just be more wolves for struggling young green eagles who could if not anything nothing done quickly be getting back to the lower division so just when you expect them to give a big fight at this encounter side it's a uh, two nil before hitting the first quarter of an hour Masimbuko. Oh, that's uh, intention to push Simon Mulenga into that fast run by Mishek Chayla. Working out uh, formula here, young green eagles. And this is uh, without the vociferous Incarna fans. Could be worse if they were here. Could have pressure. Worse indeed. The red terraces or the red metal would have heard sounds from there, some melodious tunes from <laughs> there, bouncing fans and so on. It's been a great start for Kalampa. So, free kick, a little bit of pressure for the home side and it's the newcomer there, Kelvin Moyo, just going in hard from behind on uh, Adamson Mulao. Mulao, the father, used to play for Red Arrows as a coach. And on this day, he was playing for Zambia six years ago at the Chan. Remember that still to come, Zambia playing in the Chan in the quarterfinals against Morocco. Well, that's a game to look uh, forward to. And that is a shot not to look forward to when you're 2 0 down. <laughs> I'm telling you. Anyway. <laughs> you get chances at this level, you do that. Winde. His ball is good. Chance here, and it's goal number three, Whoa. and it's a hat trick. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Simon Mulenga, he can't stop scoring. Wow, and goal number three here at Encana Stadium. Now, if this doesn't brighten your Sunday, I don't know what will, especially today. But of course, the black cloud in Kafue, because this is not what you expected from young green eagles. My, oh my. I won't be surprised to find long queues of dances around town center, Kusakili, and the rest of the places that love Kalampa because this has been a blistering start. And this big striker looks very hungry. It would make Kenneth Babo Malitoli go green with envy. What a finish. <laughs> Again, Mwinde this time off the wings, brings it into the area. That defending, first, second touch, bang, brilliant goal. Just taking it out of the defender's way. Again, this youngster, good work, Emmanuel Mwinde. Second, brilliant finish. This looks like a proper striker's goal by Simon Mulenga. So, Teddy Simpokwe seemed to have closed his eyes and hoped that his body would do the check. But he needed to see what he was, uh, what he was shooting. And he, and, and, and he did not. Uh, so much pressure here. And this is just the beginning. <laughs> this is stuff that makes you love football. And Dinkana could have just gotten the fourth there. Very exciting start. 18 minutes into the game. And Dinkana are flying. This is the Kalampa that we normally love to see. Well, whether this is uh, the sign of uh, Nkana going forward is something that the loving soccer fans, the critical ones, will question. Does this reflect what Nkana has become? Or are they playing a team that is just weak? Ha, we have to go to give credit to Kelvin Kaindu for the way they have played thus far. Okay. Because this Green Eagles side, aside from that 6-1 thumping at the hands of 
the bankers Zanako, they have been very resolute. But you have seen movement. Again, the foul there on the big striker. Now they have to resort to filing to fouling him to stop him. The skipper there. <laughs> Guilty of stopping this big striker on a on, on, on a hat trick and oof, it could be a double breast for him. Masimboko. So this uh, defense being brought under question. But you're trying to justify a point. Nkana have played well. Nkana have played well. They have used their wings effectively. And this Mulenga oof, is a clinical finisher. Already people are talking about the departure of uh, Mbombo. Chance now. This could be trouble again. And uh, it's about damage control now. No foul. It's going to be a free kick. So you think that uh, Mulenga might replace Mbombo? Absolutely. One too many fouls by this uh, Kelvin Moyo. <laughs> and uh, we'll be keeping an eye on him. But uh, Mulenga could be the perfect replacement for Mbombo. I mean, when we were doing pre-match analysis, we were saying there have been big strikers here. Boy Chanda, Kenneth Babo Malitoli, Zed Sileti, Idris Mbombo, Walter Bualia. This Mulenga could be the next big thing if he continues in this path. Well, Liable helped in getting the consolation for now. And the set pieces are not being well executed. And the down and need to make good use uh, of them. So, very careless, played. Franklin. And very poor away from home. Very poor away from home. Green Eagles, and it's keeping in that tradition. So... The quest to get goal number four seems to be high on this Incana agenda. And look at that. The ball just uh, whistling past, begging for someone to touch it. Sanjase with the ball. He's got to try and organize his defense as well. On three occasions, he's been exposed. I spoke about it earlier on and we spoke about it in pre-match analysis that uh, this system of having one player in front of the back four might just come to hurt them and uh, when the defense is pulled out of position the cover play is quite poor and this is why Nkana are beginning to find a lot of spaces in that particular area and uh, they could easily turn this match into a training session Kalampa. Well that will certainly not be good for young Green Eagles who've got their own issues in trying to get out of that relegation zone. But who will be that game changer? And that's a big one. This is an occasion where you want that influential player to kind of push the agenda, the narrative, to try and uh, pull one or two goals before the break. Before that, they need to be calm. Absolutely. They're coming to scoring situations and are panicking. Headed out. Still, a chance to build and push up young Green Eagles. They put themselves under pressure. So Samson Muelwa on the ball. Pushing the, into the 18, but they don't have right follow-ups there. No follow-ups. They seem to have been hit hard by the heavy downpour of goals by Kalampa here and uh, they are yet to dust themselves and they are looking very disjointed they are looking dispirited they are looking discouraged they need some inspiration from somewhere and you spoke about god being for them when kalampa was doing their favor at present it's looking like god is for kalampa <laughs> so chance And uh, Nkana all of a sudden looked at, like they are more in number on the pitch. Maybe there's got to be another head count. Now, young Green Eagles to try and uh, they have to be faster on the ball, but it's a uh, foul in their favor. Young Green Eagles. Where does that goal come from? What they just need is one goal to uplift their spirits 
young Green Eagles, and for them to stop believing again that they can take this game to Nkana. Here's a chance. But not like that. <laughs> again, wasted. There was no power in that shot. And it's going to be very difficult for them to come back into this one. Even if they had to find a goal, this looks like a huge mountain to climb. Mount Everest. Not, not Kilimanjaro. Not Kilimanjaro. Ah. Well, let's see how it goes. As in Kana look for goal number four. Perhaps uh, use it as a chance here. <laughs> it's uh, Shimenga. It's trying to be naughty there. Eh? <laughs> the smile <laughs> tells it all on Fred Sutra Shimenda. He started the move, didn't he? Some good play again by Simon, but poor contact off the header, and he knows it. Brilliant again by Inkana in terms of the builder play. So, Should where are the that. defenders? Who's policing this man? Look at that. They're very loose in their marking, young Green Eagles. And in Ghana, finding a lot of space, and they'll be able to add to this tally with this sort of uh, gifts that they are getting from this young Rigo side. Referee play allows play to continue, and uh, perhaps a uh, chance for young Green Eagles to push forward. Isaac Ngoma runs into space. Can he connect? No commitment whatsoever in terms of pursuing that particular ball. You'd want to think they are the ones that are leading. They need to show hunger. Absolutely. They don't need to give up. Nkana, one Nkana player. Referee Hamalila Matthew did not think that Mwinde was touched. A bit hard from behind, but uh, went down too easily. The debutant. The referee must have thought, well, he was just setting up himself for that foul to happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let him be strong. The striker, keep the ball and shoot the ball. Let's get him to be strong on the ball. Yeah. Let's get two more goals before we go. Uh, Simon, turn to English and Arabic. Hmm. Hey, so Muma, Muma, I said, I said, I said, come on, 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 well, that's certainly what you want uh, the coach to do. Uh, just positive, positive thinking. And uh, Nkana are gunning for two more goals. Well, positive talk from Kelvin Mwanga, as well as uh, Ruben Javera. I'm sure even Dean Winde, the technical advisor, should be telling the boys the same to say, don't drop your heads. Still a long way to go. Strange things have happened in football. But I like the honesty of uh, Kelvin Kaindu saying to his players to tell the deputant Emmanuel Mwinde to keep strong on his feet and not just falling anyhow even when blown by the wind absolutely you heard that as well chasing the first uh, half hour mark three nil got almost everything you need in football. Three goals. With, uh, a lot of time for young Green Eagles. And down goes another kind of player. In Abuya. To the peer, Kevin Kainu wants his players to weather this kind of uh, scenarios. It doesn't seem to favor players falling all over the place. He's a very honest guy, even in his playing career at Zanako. He was not one to go down easily. If he goes down, it means that he has failed something, Kelvin. Just... Uh, oh, 
Okay, that was nasty. And uh, Mr. Chayla goes in, and he will not argue. It's a very tough challenge. Um, Nishak Chayla, the Nampundu product. Nedis Nishat, Zesco United, played also for Cabo Ares, vastly experienced player. He knew what he was doing because he lost the ball. He had to go for the man there. <laughs> and a weary smile from the veteran, Yaila. That's where you want the ball to be wrapped around your boot when you make an effort like that, not to miss it. The quest for consolation goal is on here for young green eagles this is not what they bargained for three nil under 30 minutes a bit too much it's like a goal each uh, from kana every 10 minutes no pressure more pressure for moses maplanga they even they even have the luxury of just playing it from the back but they shouldn't get too complacent strange things have happened in football yeah, keep absolutely. your concentration up get more goals if you can because in the end those things really matter on both ends of the pitch fighting for relegation or wanting to be champion young green eagles just have to try and have to score before going on the break and who knows what can happen in the second half Nkana, they dust themselves ahead, pushing forward, looking for goal number four. There's some strong play there from uh, Emmanuel Mwinde. Looks like he heeded the instructions from the coach. Because on that particular occasion, there's a bit of uh, a tack on him, but he didn't go down, stayed on his feet, which is a good thing to see. Yes, yeah, so I thought he would go down, actually. Throw in Young Green Eagles with a huge, huge task to make this call and read differently. But who is that player? But who are those players that will inspire the rest to get in those goals? Very comfortable on the ball, Kana. That's an emphatic ball ahead. Trying to avoid uh, further damage. Need to ramp up uh, their reactions at the back. Ngoma's turn. Good blockade will be a throw in to Young Green Eagles. And that's the kind of fighting spirit you want to start seeing in this side that's uh, facing defeat at the moment. Beautiful block by Lyson Tolle. Long throw into the box. No challenge. No challenge. And uh, the hunger comes from the challenge. When you are hungry, you challenge. Even if you're not going to get the ball, you put challenge. The goalkeeper under pressure. Under pressure, absolutely, because there could be a mistake, a howler of some sort. The keeper must know that to let there. Right. And that is uh, what is not happening at the moment. A mistake. A howl of some sort. The keeper must know that to let there. Right. And that is uh, what is not happening at the moment. The young Green Eagles being a little bit uh, uh, too kind. Free kick. And that's what you call cropping. Good call. And, and it's, it's Mwinde again on the ground, is it? Yes, it is. Emmanuel Mwinde. So the ball played in his path and uh, tackle from behind and Hamalila spot on in uh, penalizing Green Eagles, uh, Ted Simfukwe, the guilty party on a particular occasion. And you can see, uh, no protestations. Nothing. Guilty. They normally call it, warn him, warn him. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Wilson Jassy. Be properly covered. Or will this be another goal? That's the last thing that should happen. Obed's ball. And uh, straight into St. Jasso's hands. Managed to go through the roadblock, but not through the goalkeeper's hands. It's not very hard. But how that ball went through that wall, particularly a military service wall, <laughs> will be something that will worry Kelvin Mwanga. Absolutely. I was just wondering if there was water there, just the way the ball was bouncing awkwardly, it could have been a bit tricky for the keeper indeed. For the goalkeeper. Into the area of opportunity, but uh, good reaction there again from Richard Okran. Stand rock solid, Richard Okran in the Tinkana back line. Still, Young Green Eagles try. And it's going to be a free kick. Looked like good defensive work, but illegally done by Fred. Sutra Shimenga. They are fighting and challenging as if they are not the ones that are leading. It's good spirit by Inkana on this display. Here comes the ball. And uh, maybe not correctly measured. Not correctly measured indeed. Arriving very late for it. There's been a change. It's a Kingsley Fichite who's uh, coming for peaceful summer. Kingsley Fichite peaceful has been very peaceful and quiet and uh, coach Mwanga deciding to bring in Kingsley Fichite just to freshen things up well Another this card. man has been asking for it initially Hamalila let him go those uh, attack earlier on uh, Mwinde where we are saying warn him but this time, he doesn't as escape the attention of Mr. Hamalila and uh, rightly gets a yellow. Good play again by Masumbuko finding Mwinde and uh, rough play. The skipper. So, pressure again. Need for the captain to remain calm and organize his defense and avoid uh, further damage from this uh, kind of side that doesn't have good intentions different faces there the coach calm the skipper very upset after the yellow they have to keep calm it's a long way to go get one go reduce the areas um, because if they get disoriented it becomes extremely difficult for them to come back into this one absolutely so there have been three goals so far up to this uh, point and then Kana to get uh, another chance to power pressure on this uh, troubled young green eagle side this seem to lapse a lot defensively tell you what kelvin kind will be relieved that mwinde is up on his feet because his movement he hasn't scored but he's been very very good and that's what is creating spaces for the likes of uh, the brace i mean the hat trick hero so far mulenga Obed's a kick, well checked. Um, did I miss something? Mm. Was the ball supposed to go this way? <laughs> okay, it is going right. The that, that free kick. Eagles way. Okay. Yeah. So another chance for Eagles for a quick uh, free kick time not their best if they have to score before the break only seven minutes uh, remain kind of you can bet will come with a tightened uh, second half it's going to be a little bit tougher for young green eagles but they have to try and open it now another free kick in terms of the positioning and and opportunities for set pieces you can't say that young green eagles have not had any they have had those opportunities but it is making them count that is lacking this time it's Lyson Tole again with the foul they have been a bit careless in terms of the way they are defending Kana Football Club they would need to do a lot more better and uh, 
Eagles should capitalize from this sort of positions. Mafuanga not wanting to be exposed. It's uh, Nguluve's ball, and uh, Mufalanga spills it, but there's no one to follow it up, so that they kicked back to the net. And this is what uh, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to suggest the need for anticipation, and that is what uh, young Green Eagles don't seem to have. This is Shimenga offside. You have to be alive to that second ball. Um, the goalkeeper spilled it, Kelvin Moses. Maplanga, you know, but Sheko Bungulube's shot was a stinging one. If there was a follow through from the likes of Ashed Male or even Adamson Mulao, they could have pulled one back. Good chance, keeper. There are five Inkana players on the edge of the penalty area. Good shot by Ngulube, spilled by Maplanga. All the red shirts. Nobody in green. Well, this man must be saying, well, thankfully, the opponent does not seem to anticipate uh, what is possible. He bounced it on that occasion. I want to believe the kicker put in his uh, right energy for that to happen. Mm. So his teammates should have known better. Exactly. Five minutes left to play. It's uh, Nkana enjoying a 3 nil lead here in uh, was a killer in Ketwe. If you're just joining us, one man responsible for all the three goals, Simon Mulenga. They are feeling very good in Ghana in the week when they announced a huge partnership with the Zambia Revenue Authority from their corporate social responsibility funds. They have given them money in Ghana Football Club. And this is a, a way of saying thank you, ZRA. ZRIA needs Zinkana because this is a big brand, not just in Zambian football, but in African football. They have been in existence for 86 years. And if you want to associate with the brand, it's Zinkana. And Zinkana seemingly appreciating that gesture by pushing in goals for fun early on. Absolutely important for, to have uh, traditional sides like Zinkana staying afloat in the Super League and go and conquer Africa. That is what every Zinkana fan uh, hopes uh, to have. And you remember when they got relegated in 2004, it was because of financial woes. So any financial fillip that comes in the form of ZRA, Betway, for a big club like this one, going into Africa to compete as well with Goma here, it is good, good news that they're getting this sort of support. Here come Kana with a chance to get a number. So, the quest for glory continues here and this is a man that is on song this uh, afternoon and perhaps in Kana trying to negate uh, what happened with Green Buffalo but can talk about run later. and the ball into the area but the big striker just a fraction late for it you remember the five is it five new grabbing at the hands of uh, Green Buffaloes Absolutely, when there was a is, fight for the, this, former, with this, the former coach. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Is this where Ankana could try and say, listen, let's uh, get back those goals? Absolutely, because... To kind of better the goal difference. This is a defense side. So you might want to hammer a defense side as a way of revenge. <laughs> and it's a possibility. Green Eagles, young Green Eagles must be wary of a result like the one they received at the hands of Zanako. Three, make that two minutes remaining. This time, Sanjase reacts with a little bit more authority as the young green eagles fly towards Nkana goal looking for the perhaps uh, what could be the first half consolation but Nkana rather mean defensively the mistake is made chance here a bit of uh, there could have been a bit of confusion on that occasion. Now, the, it's almost like, remember, listen, you can actually press the goalkeeper. <laughs> a a last-minute thought. Yeah, and earlier we saw that cross from Glory Chimwemwe, the Zimbabwean, who has just joined. And, uh, well, we spoke about the, the sand on the tape and how it's going to affect the bounce of the ball. And at times, in certain patches, indeed, the bounce of the ball is being affected by the sand on this Inkana Tef. Well, it's all part of the 
the season's uh, effects. It's been so much rain in the country, and in the region. So facilities uh, having to feel that uh, pressure. The consolation is that the ball is moving. Absolutely. And not stopping, but the bounce is, is the one uh, that can be dangerously affected. Yeah. So, seconds out. Throw in. What is it? No, it's a throw in. <laughs> Looking for what could be the last uh, goal scoring opportunity. Here comes the ball. Confusion there again. Speculative shot straight to the goalkeeper and that's a little bit more like it First from uh, shot. young green eagles conviction was there and again it is uh ushered male with a very beautiful shot but the goalkeeper maplanga getting down to it very well goalkeeper can't touch this one oh so much pressure there he can, but only with his legs. <laughs> <laughs> I will always remember that. <laughs> so anytime from now, the referee will be blowing. Well, make that two minutes. Because that's the added time to give uh, young Green Eagles perhaps a, a bit of chance to get one. But you never know. Could be giving chance for Canada to get four. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it appears you are really feeling <laughs> sorry because they are called young, isn't it? Absolutely. You want them to have a go at least. Something before the break. It's going to be tough in the second half, but then that's football. Oh, that's some um, skill by Masimboko what and a confidence. Player. What a player. <laughs> Just uh, not minding that he's in the 18 area, but young Green Eagles struggling to string passes together and could be punished if they're not careful because this is Mwinde's ball to the far side. He is a recipient and uh, ball still in play. That switch, Franklin, by the hat-trick hero, uh, Simon Mulenga, was glorious. So it's not just about the goals. He's got an awareness as well. Mm -hmm. The added time is up with the uh, young Green Eagles having some momentary positive momentum. Second assistance flag was up for a foul, but referee says, listen, just play advantage. It was a good call by Mr. Hamalila just to let play flow. Young Green Eagles will be hoping the referee has uh, swallowed his whistle to delay the blowing or ending of this match. In the meantime, coming to a place of opportunity, but they lose it in the most important place. And now, a chance here. It's a good pass. It's a goal scorer. He's got a man to beat in the captain. Still, Mulenga's ball floated across uh, goal and the referee is saying enough of the action for the first 45 minutes. There will be a little break for teams to get back, reorganize themselves and have the hard talk that is so required. But the first half belonged to this man, Simon Mulenga, banging in the goals three times. Will he do it again? There's a